What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be diving into option sets in Swift, and this is taken directly from our Intermediate and Advanced Fundamentals course with Swift. So if you guys wanna check the full course out, it is available on our website at appstuff.io. The link for this is in the description, and you can either access the course by making a one-time purchase or becoming a member here with us and getting access to all of our pro courses and app clones. So make sure you guys check this out. Now let's just go ahead and dive straight into the video. In this video, we're gonna be diving into something that you might have seen or heard of in Swift, but never really understood, and that is option sets. So they kind of look like enums, but they behave differently, and they're actually super useful for working with things like settings, permissions, styles, or really any kind of bit mask logic. So we're gonna break this down, and even if you're brand new to Swift, you'll understand this concept by the end of this video, and you'll be able to start using this in your apps, and it's actually really powerful. So what is an option set? As we can see in the notes here, it is a special protocol in Swift used to represent a set of options using bit masks. So unlike enums, when you pick one case, with option set, you can combine multiple values, like read and write permissions. So it's really efficient and expressive. So we're gonna do a full breakdown of how exactly these differ from enums, but we're gonna start the video off by diving right into an example and writing some code. So for this example, guys, we're going to make a struct here and we're going to call it file permissions. So we're gonna imagine that we're building an app that gives users certain file permissions like read only, write only, executable permissions or a combination of some or all of those things. So we're going to make this an option set and we are going to set it up like this. We're gonna say let raw value, which is just going to be some integer. And then we're going to start making our permissions. So we're gonna say static let read, and that's gonna equal our file permissions. And we're gonna set it up like this. Raw value one less than less than zero. And we'll break down this notation here in a little bit. Um, this notation caused me to stay away from option sets for such a long time, guys, because it looks super intimidating and confusing. But once you break it down, it's actually really simple to understand. So let's just keep going. Next up, we're going to be, make some permissions for write. So we could say file permissions, and we are going to say one less than less than one here. And then we're going to make another one for execute. And it's going to be file permissions one less than less than two. And lastly, I'm going to make one to represent all of the permissions combined and we're going to call this file permissions and it's gonna look like this, guys. We can actually stick this inside of an array. So real life examples of where you might see something like this in actual iOS code bases that come natively from Apple are some app delegate methods for like handling notifications. So they, that uses an option set for notification display options where you can have something like a banner, um, a pop-up notification or all of the different notification styles is represented by an option set just like this. Um, this is just a slightly different example. So let's break this down really quickly. We have this custom option set called file permissions and it stores an integer called raw value. And each permission is assigned a unique bit using a left shift, which is what we see here. One less than less than zero, one less than less than one, one less than less than two. So you guys can kind of see the pattern here, right? So this makes them combinable using this bitwise or operator under the hood. So we're not gonna do a crazy deep dive into bitwise or operators or bit notation or anything like that. Just know that this is basically how you set this up and we're gonna see how we can start using this and I think it'll make a lot more sense once we actually uh, get a use case here in our code. So guys, let's go ahead and start with how to use this. So let's go ahead and create this variable here called user permissions. And check this out, the autocomplete is super smart here. It's gonna figure that out for us. Basically, we can imagine that we are looking at something like a Google Doc and we're giving this particular user the permissions to read and write this file, right? And to check and see if the user has those permissions and uh, essentially enable certain like uh, pieces of functionality, we could say like if user permissions dot contains dot read, we could say print user can read this file. And I could also say if user permissions dot contains dot write. Print user can edit this file, right? 
And let's just go ahead and run our code. And we should get back these two print statements because our user permissions contains both of those options. And we see this coming back to us here really nicely. User can read this file and user can edit this file. Okay, so what does it look like if we wanna update an option? So let's see, updating our options, right? Let's imagine we want to give the user an executable permission, right? Let's imagine they like upgraded their account or something and we want to add to this permissions array or option set rather. So we can now say user permissions and we can just use an insert mem uh, operator, dot execute or insert method, sorry. And guys, then you could simply add this, you know, simple check here to say like if user permissions dot contains execute, then hey, they can execute or run this file, right? And now if we want to remove a, a, an option from them, like let's say they downgraded or lost a permission or whatever it may be, we can simply say user permissions dot remove and we could say like dot write, right? So we can insert and remove options dynamically and adding execute gives us all three permissions, right? Removing write takes it away. So this is pretty cool. So the key takeaway with these option sets is that it allows us to combine multiple options together or have multiple states exist simultaneously. So this brings me to my next point where we might be like, well, dude, we could just use an enumeration for this, right? Like what's the difference? Why is an option set better? When would I wanna use an enum versus an option set? So let's take a look at what an enum would have looked like here. So I have this enum called permissions and it uh, is pretty similar to what we just had, right? And up until this point, it's basically the same thing. We have a read option, a write option, and an execute option. But this gets tricky when I want to start combining values, right? Like if I want read and write, then I have to make an enum case that combines those two things. And same with write and execute or read, write, and execute. And I could also use case iterable to maybe combine options into an array. But the problem with an enum in this situation, guys, is that it only allows us to uh, select one choice at a time. So then I have to start making all of these like uh, different choices that combine things and make those separate cases. And that's not just considered best practice because this is not scalable, right? Imagine my enum had 10 different options and imagine all of the possible different combinations I could then have. So you wanna use option sets when you can have multiple states exist at the same time, like a read and write permissions or read, write and execute permissions. And you wanna use enums when like a state can only be one thing at a time. So a good example of an enum would be maybe like an order status, right? So like enum order status, and this can only really be in one state at a time, right? It's sequential. It starts as processed, goes to shipped, and then becomes delivered. It will never be in either of these states simultaneously, right? Whereas this file permissions, we obviously see that we can have multiple states exist at the same time. So that's gonna wrap it up for our video here on option sets, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And once again, if you guys want to check the full course out of this intermediate and advanced fundamentals course with Swift, we cover a bunch of other complex topics like enums, protocols, classes, extensions, generics, higher order functions, memory management, and we do a bunch of hands-on examples to break down difficult concepts and make them easy to understand. So once again, the link for that is in the description. You guys can purchase this as a one-time purchase or become a member with us to get access to this and all of our other pro courses, which include a bunch of awesome things like these app clones where we build out real world applications with Swift and Firebase. So it's, these are all full stack applications that are completely built with Swift UI and led by myself and ex meta engineer. And you get access to all of these courses if you are a member guys. So it really is an awesome deal and uh, you can cancel whenever you want. And you also get support from me here if you have any questions or concerns on the courses as you go through them. So make sure you guys check that out. Check us out at appstuff.io. Links are in the description. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like this and we'll see you next time. Peace.